Is it the right time to make a move with Amazon stock? Today, we're going to take a deep dive into Amazon. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, February 13, 2024. And now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and deep analysis for any one of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 8, 2024, our system has ranked Amazon as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of minus 0.25. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. During this time, the stock has exceeded our expectations, delivering a remarkable gain of 13.11% since we initially recommended buying Amazon 26 days ago. This equates to an average daily return of 0.5% since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating potential growth in the short term. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected change of 15.79% over the next three months. This suggests a potential return ranging from 6.52% to 20.32%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected change of 58.75% over the next year. This indicates a potential return ranging from 30.60% to 64.71%. In other words, the stock price could range from $220.25 to $277.77 after a year. Our latest update on Amazon reveals a weaker technical forecast, leading to a downgrade of the stock to hold slash accumulate. On the last trading day, which was Tuesday, February 13, 2024, the Amazon stock price experienced a decrease of 2.15%, falling from $172.34 to $168.64. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 3.14%, ranging from a low of $165.75 to a high of $170.95. Although the price has fallen in 6 out of the last 10 days, it remains 6.06% .06 higher over the past 2 weeks. The trading volume increased by 6 million shares on the last day, despite the declining prices. This could be an early warning sign, indicating a slightly increased risk in the coming days. In total, approximately 56 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to around $9.45 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $175.39, while the lowest price was $88.12. Currently, the price is 3.85% or $6.75 below the 52-week high, and 87.08% or $1,136.56 below the all-time high on January 15, 2018, when the price reached $1,305.20. Today, let's talk about analyst ratings for Amazon. On Friday, February 2, 2024, it was reported that Needham gave Amazon a buy grade with a hold action. On the same day, Needham also gave Amazon an overweight grade with a hold action. Moving back to Thursday, February 1, 2024, Telsey Advisory gave Amazon an outperform grade with a hold action. Similarly, Wedbush also gave Amazon an outperform grade with a hold action on the same day. Lastly, Oppenheimer gave Amazon an outperform grade with a hold action on Thursday, February 1, 2024. Analysts have given Amazon stock a general buy rating. They have also rated the P-E ratio as strong buy and the price to book as strong buy. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a solid buy rating. Let's take a look at the signals for Amazon stock. The short-term moving average suggests a sell signal for Amazon stock. However, the long-term average gives a buy signal. 
Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is an overall buy signal, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. If the stock continues to rise, it may face resistance around $170.75 from the short-term moving average. On the other hand, if it falls, it may find support around $157.65 from the long-term average. A breakthrough above the short-term average would trigger a buy signal, while a breakdown below the long-term average would trigger a sell signal. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD, also suggests a buy signal. However, there have been some negative signals that could impact the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, February 9, 2024, resulting in a minus 3.33% decrease so far. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is found. It's worth noting that volume increased on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign. Keep a close eye on the stock. Here are some other signals that may be of interest to you. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots showed a sell signal three days ago. Bollinger bands indicated a buy signal three days ago. The short-term moving average showed a sell signal two days ago. The long-term moving average indicated a buy signal 27 days ago. Taking a look at the 12-month chart, we observe the following. The short moving average displayed a sell signal 21 days ago. The long-term moving average indicated a buy signal 74 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages displayed a buy signal 64 days ago. Don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Amazon. When it comes to the downside, the stock has some support levels to consider. Right below today's level, there is accumulated volume support at $149.97 and $147.42. It's important to be cautious when a stock is testing a support level, as if it breaks, the stock can potentially fall to the next support level. In the case of Amazon, if the current support at $149.97 is broken, the next support levels to watch out for are at $147.42 and $146.88. Now, let's talk about the risk involved. Amazon experiences average movements throughout the day and has good trading volume. This puts the risk at a medium level. Looking at the previous day, the stock had a price range of $5.20 between its high and low, which accounts for a 3.14% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.1%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for Amazon, it's important to understand some key fundamental data. Let's start with the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A high P-E ratio may suggest that the stock is overvalued or that investors anticipate strong future growth. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is expected to be released on April 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates predict earnings of 80 cents. It's important to monitor these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing some potential day trading levels for Amazon. If there's an upward trend, the first resistance level for Amazon is at $170.31. If you're not currently holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. However, if you already own the stock, this could be a great opportunity for swing trading. On the downside, Amazon encounters its first support level at $149.97. If this support level holds, it could be a promising entry point, as we anticipate a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Amazon is buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On February 7, 2024, Harrington Douglas J. sold 14,311 shares of common stock, valued at one cent per share. On February 7, 2024, Harrington Douglas J. sold 5,889 shares of common stock, valued at one cent per share. On February 7, 2024,
Bezos Jeffrey P. sold 3,204,264 shares of common stock, valued at one cent per share. On February 7, 2024, Bezos Jeffrey P. sold 2,794,585 shares of common stock, valued at one cent per share. On February 8, 2024, Bezos Jeffrey P. sold 1,871,957 shares of common stock, valued at one cent per share. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power ratio to be negative at minus 97.007. Overall, insiders purchased 177,869 shares and sold 14,534,887 shares in the last 100 trades. We recommend setting the stop loss at $162.03, which represents a decrease of 3.92%. This particular stock tends to have moderate daily movements, resulting in a medium level of risk. Furthermore, a sell signal was detected from a pivot top that occurred two days ago. Is Amazon stock a good buy? While Amazon shows some positive signs, we believe it falls short of being a strong buy candidate. It is currently more suitable as a hold candidate, meaning you should hold or accumulate shares while waiting for further developments. We have downgraded our analysis from a buy to a hold slash accumulate due to minor weaknesses in the technical picture. After assessing the volatility and recent movements, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. On Wednesday, February 14th, we anticipate Amazon to open at $168.45, a decrease of dash $0.193. Before we begin, it's important to understand that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. We always recommend consulting a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Remember, the information provided here on StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you agree to take responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Share your opinion in the comments section below. We value your input and look forward to engaging with you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. As always, we wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for being a part of our Stock Invest community.